This is the true story of Charles Plum. Charles Plum grew up in Kansas with this vision, with this idea of one day becoming a pilot. And after he graduated from the academy, he joined what is now known as Top Gun. He was five days away from retiring, and as he flew his 75th combat mission, things did not go according to plan because he was shot down over the skies of Hanoi in Vietnam. He was then taken prisoner where he spent the next six years of his life in an eight foot by eight foot cell. But he survived, eventually he got out, he flew a couple more missions, and then he retired. And Charles tells this story that one day he was sitting at a restaurant with his wife. And nearby, there is a gentleman sitting there and he walks over to Charles and he says, hey, you're plum. And Charles gets taken aback. He's like, how did you know that? And the guy says, yeah, yeah, you were shot over in Vietnam. And Charles again is like, wow, how do you know this? Who are you? And the guy says, oh, I was the one who packed your parachute. I guess it worked. And Charles tells this story when he gives speeches, and, and he's talking about this quite a bit, of how this made him reflect on how many times he saw this young sailor and didn't say hi to him, didn't ask him how he was doing, because after all, Charles was a fighter pilot, and this person was just a, you know, a young sailor, a novice, an amateur. He wasn't as, uh, as high up the corporate food chain, so to speak, as Charles was. And it really made him wonder um, how many times he didn't recognize, show appreciation for the work that this person was doing, which was so important, packing his parachute. And the question that Charles always likes to ask people who read his content and his attendees when he's giving speeches is who is packing your parachute? Um, the more senior we become inside of our organizations, the easier it is to get disconnected from those around us. The easier it is to ignore them. The easier it is to... Uh, you know, surround ourselves just with other executives, with other senior leaders in our company. But we need to remember that the more senior we get, the harder we have to try to treat other people with respect, with dignity, the way that we want to be treated. Uh, nobody is higher or, or is too high to, uh, to say, how are you doing? Um, nobody is too low to, to, to ask them what's going on in their lives. You have to treat everybody with respect, regardless of how junior they are or regardless of how senior they are. So the question that I have for you is who is packing your parachute? Who is helping you become more successful? Whose shoulders are you standing on top of? Who is helping you on your team that maybe you are not acknowledging, maybe that you are not showing appreciation for? And what can you do to show appreciation to that person or to those people? Because somebody, I can promise you, is packing your parachute. Who are those people and what can you do to acknowledge them and to say thank you? So this is the true story of Charles Plum. It's a fascinating story, and I hope it will inspire and motivate you to recognize and show appreciation for those around you. Thanks again for tuning into the show, and don't forget to go to sixleadershiptrends.com to grab a copy of my brand new PDF, which is going to walk you through the six trends that are shaping leadership and what it means to be a leader. And it will also give you action items for what you should be doing for each one of these six trends to adapt and evolve so that you can be a better leader in the future of work. Again, that is sixleadershiptrends.com. You can either spell out the number six in the URL or just use the number six in the URL. They will both take you to the same place. Thanks again for tuning in.